So I know lately here in Stewart that there's been a lot of talk and commotion about the green algae that's been flowing out of Lake Okeechobee and I know it was on the national news last night. So have you been seeing green algae? Oh around? yeah, yeah, it's it's bad. And you know, I, I have mixed emotions about it. I understand why they're letting all the water out of Lake Okeechobee because they don't want a catastrophe. Mm -hmm. But they've got to do something or we're, it's going to kill this estuary. It hasn't really affected the snook fishing that much as of yet. But as you know, they can live in fresh water. Yeah. But what it, what this green algae is doing uh, and, what, and the fresh water in general is doing is it's killing all the sea grasses and it's killing all the oysters. And of course, that's, that's the first form of of life. Right. Right. So without the seagrass and without right. the oyster beds, the microorganisms don't come, hence the bait fish don't show up, and then of course the predator fish don't show up. So it like ruins the life cycle. Yeah, it ruins you know, some of the some of the flats just up there off the sailfish point uh, used to have lush uh, turtle grass, you know, tons yeah. of seagrass, and it's a bearing basically sandbar now for lack of a better term. Wow. Um, so you know, there's got to be a fix, a simple fix. Uh, they've got to start sending, from what I understand, the aquifer down in Florida Bay is drying up. They need the fresh water. Uh -huh. And yet, we're sending it out the East Coast here in the St. Lucie and out the West Coast out of the Caloosahatchee. Right. So, you know, th they've got to start sending it south. Um, you know, there's a lot of media attention going on with it right now. They're closing the beaches. Look, right. if anybody was going to get sick from it, I would because I'm out here every day. I, right. I have yet to get sick from it. it How long have you been fishing in the green algae for? It's just really shown up here locally in the inlet and at the hole in the wall and at the boat ramp within the last couple weeks. But, okay. they've been, but they've been dumping since, what, November, December? Yeah. And so a lot of that stuff's been way back in the river, back by Palm City and back by um, High Zingles Place, way back up in the St. Lucie River. But just recently now, it's starting to really flow out. Wow. Um, and it's bad. Like even offshore here, you see? Oh, yeah. I, at Bull Shark Barge on Wednesday, it oh was the God. green algae was all the way out there. It was as far north as uh, Hope Sound Public Beach the other day. Wow. It was as far, I'm sorry, as far south as Hope Sound Public Beach, wow. as far north as Jensen Beach, and it was all the way out past Bull Shark Barge and past the sand pile. I had some friends that were offshore, they said it was out in 200 feet of water. So that's that's oh a pretty God. good stretch, you know, for it to get that far that out. That is no good. No. Wow. So they got to do something. Uh, I just hope they do something quick. Right. You know, I, and it doesn't affect your fishing. Right. <laughs> now, well, my business is off about 30% in regards to that, and I think a lot, I think the publicity that it's getting has a lot to do with it. But yeah. you know, the fish are still here, they're still eating. I'm still, right. you know, this time of year I'm, I'm still busy, but right. um, I'd like to see them stop that. They gotta do something. Yeah, they, right. they, well, they, you know, we voted on it years ago to, to, to buy that land south and send the water south. Right. And then the, uh, the politicians misappropriated those funds and you know, God knows where it ended up. Probably subsidized to the sugar corporations, but. Yeah, um, terrible. Yeah. Wow. So it's 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 not good. I, I wish they would stop it. I wish you know they need they need to they need to fix it. They need to do to, something. To, yeah, do something. Yeah. Because it's enough. It's enough. Not good. Yeah. I mean, we deal with this every year. Uh, you know, they generally start dumping it in the summertime during our raising season. But we had a an unseasonably wet winter, so they started it back in November and December. Right. So it's been dumped. You know, they've been dumping for six, seven months now. Jeez. 